up guys this is Adam from 3dmodswall.com welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create this uh, pebble effect in Maya and we're gonna use basically a displacement map to create this effect and in order to achieve like a kind of realistic result either you need to use a 3d scans or you need to use like a photos and then from these photos you can create uh, like a displacement map and normal map and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that how to take an image of pebbles or anything like you basically want and then convert it to the displacement map and then take that into Maya and then render it so without further delay let's get started okay so first thing I want to show you guys is basically this image we're gonna be using for our uh, tutorial I downloaded this image from Wikipedia as an example and I'm gonna be linking in the description so you can use this uh, image as well and follow along it's pretty good image it's around the uh, 3k texture resolution and you can zoom and looks pretty good start here to get blurry but uh, you can have a nice detail out of this one so let's convert this image to a displacement map so let's close this image and then I have the software here called uh, crazy bump and uh, this software is gonna help us convert our image to displacement so let's click open and click on this button open a photograph okay after I select my photo just need a little bit time to process and now we get these options to select which shape represent the image better so in displacement usually the white parts is gonna be sticking out and that the black is gonna be staying the same if we pull up the image again okay and then let's move it to the side and let's move this one just to have a little bit comparison and you can see here uh, this image this section is uh, should be like pushed down and shouldn't be sticking out and if you look at these two options here which is this is the section we'll be talking about this is have really bright color in here like white so this is gonna be like all the way up and here in this image you can see it's dark and so this basically represents more of what this image actually look like than this side of course you can always change they tell you here that you can adjust it later it's good from the beginning you always uh, choose the right uh, selection so you can see here you can always like take more time you know just look at the image just see which areas uh, need the displacement to be stay the same like usually these dark ground areas it should be black and here like it's showing it should be black of course it's, there is some white here it's not gonna be like a perfect choice but just try to pick the one that make more sense okay let me minimize this one and then let's pick this side okay so now it's instantly generated the normal map and you can see here the result you can rotate around it uh, by holding the left mouse and then dragging and it's pretty good representation here so you can see like uh, the tops of that uh, pebbles are a little bit flat but that's okay for now and let's switch to displacement here so this is the displacement map that the software generated and uh, it does look pretty good already by default without doing any changes here now you notice here saying normal map still if you actually change this normal map settings it can affect the displacement map so if you lower the intensity you can see it's influencing the displacement map but let's change that to default 50 and we can keep everything here the same i don't really need to change anything here uh, for this particular case in some cases you need to adjust the detail level the fine detail or medium or large detail now there's these stripes of like white very high bright uh, areas we need to tone these down so some part of the image doesn't get too too much displaced so we can adjust this here the, under displacement map options and then the only thing i really want to change here is the enhanced detail so now it's set to zero and then if we start changing it you're gonna start uh, to see how the displacement map is start to affect how much the area is bright and how much the dark areas as well so you want to be careful with it we're trying to tone down a little bit the bright areas so so here is start to make it uh, more everything like um, you know like desaturate so we just want to be careful not to go too much it start to look really weird so we want to be careful so i found like around 15 for this case it's pretty good to give us like a nice details and also without affecting uh, the displacement map too much 
so you could play with these numbers this is not uh, like you know something you have to stick with this number you can have it to zero you can increase it uh, to any number you want and see like what's the best result because to your scene but so far this is gonna give us pretty good result as it is so now you click save and you save the file and then if you want you can also go to the normal map and then you can save it and then the, they have also an ambient occlusion map as well and that's uh, it's pretty good as well to save if you need that and the last one I would recommend to save is basically a specular map as well you save that so we have all these maps ready so let's go now to Maya and then uh, work on that uh, render so this is a plane I have and then th this plane is basically it's matched the same resolution as the image the scale 3872 X and Z and basically that's the same size of the image so now while we're selecting our polyplane let's right click and then assign new material and then let's click on shaders and then AI standard shader okay so let's call it pebbles so now we have the shader is connected to our geo let's go to the hyper shade let's select our shader and then let's click input output connections okay so now this is what we have this uh, the basic stuff so first thing we need to do is let's let's assign that um, the diffuse here to the color so let's click on it and let's assign file and then let's pick our file okay so now we have the diffuse connected and you can see it already here showing so that's good so let's select this shader again and the specular for now let's turn it off okay and then after that the next thing we need to do is basically have the displacement uh, file so let's go scroll down here uh, let's not select Arnold let's go to Maya and then let's select uh, file so now let's do the same thing let's go select displacement so here in the color space you can change that to row but once you connect the out alpha to the displacement shader it's gonna turn off the color space anyway so if you forgot to change it, it's not gonna make much difference so let's select the out alpha and then let's drag it to the displacement shader okay so let's look let's click on the file again and you can see here color space just turn it off and then here is the displacement now it's connected now next thing we need to do is let's uh, close this one let's select our polyplane and if we go to the camera view uh, if we do a render this is what we got we got basically flat so the displacement map has not yet uh, been applied correctly to our scene so we can save this image for comparison and let's close that and then while we're selecting the polyplane geo let's go to the shape if if you are like in the shader just click on the shape node let's go click on arnold and then let's scroll down to the subdivisions here so this is where we're gonna adjust the displacement map so now it's turned off so let's change it to cut clark and then the iteration that's how much the resolution of this displacement gonna be and then the displacement attributes here is basically gonna have the height and the bounce padding that's like it allowed the displacement go beyond the edges of the geo itself so this is always good to have it turned on as well but i want to show you guys a really good trick that we can do if you go to the arnold render and click on it now arnold gonna instantly render your scene i want to show you the wireframe so this when we adjusting the the displacement settings you can instantly see it updating here so you can go to render and then go to debug shading and click on wireframe so now this is the displacement that we are getting since we already turn it on so if you turn it off you can see it's like become uh, not really displaced very well and as soon as you change to cut a clock you start to get a more uh, high, higher definition of displacement but you can see now it's really like um, the resolution is very low you can't see any pebbles or anything so that's where we need to adjust the iterations here this is gonna adjust the resolution of your displacement so let's change it to 4 click enter and you can see instantly Arnold updated here so 4 still is not enough because you can see still there's like missing details so before we do that let's change the bounce padding to 1 so this will enhance 
the quality near the edges and then let's change the uh, iteration to 6 so you can see now we kind of start to get more better uh, look for the pebbles they is not they is still not perfect like for this approach you're not gonna really get a very perfect it's not like using uh, 3d scans or something like that that's gonna give you like very accurate result but this is gonna be quick workaround just in you if you have like a tight uh, deadline or something so the height we can enhance the height we can make it like you know like let's see 1.4 oh, sorry 1.4 and then sometimes it doesn't really update correctly so you need to change let's say iteration to 5 ok so you can see everything get extended and then let's put it back to 6 ok so this is kinda looks uh, much better so now we have these pebbles kinda like sticking out um, so the next thing we need to do is let's turn off this uh, Arnold one and then let's render so we can see here we already saved the previous render so let's render the new one okay so it's done rendering and you can see a big difference how we have these pebbles now like becoming more 3d and the displacement is doing pretty good job especially if you look here at the edges really looks uh, really nice pulls everything up and become more like uh, pretty cool so you can always render from different angles and see how things look like so let's render from this angle Okay, and now it's done rendering and you can see also this angle looks pretty good. There's a little bit stretching like you can see here and you know, so as I mentioned like this method is not gonna be like a perfect for like super realistic, but it's gonna give you pretty decent results. And of course you wanna take this uh, step further, you can always go to the shader and apply a specular uh, map to it using the same software that we saved. And also you can uh, go to the geometry and apply uh, a normal map. So this is gonna help you get more details out of this image and it's gonna give you like a nice result after all and it's gonna be pretty fast as well if you don't have access to like more realistic scans or anything like that you can basically do that now if you want to have a like a cover more distance you can always go and do a tiling on the image and you know adjust it in Photoshop have it like tiled so this way you can repeat it so after you do with the tile you can also take it back to crazy bump and then create uh, that uh, displacement map for the tile map that you just uh, did in Photoshop so this will allow you to you know have a more uh, distance cover and then you can pull the camera more back up and have uh, pretty cool if you have like a scene of a garden and have some pebbles on the ground you can you know quickly do that and then get some decent results uh, especially if it's like distance and not very close up but even here you can see in close up did pretty good job as well so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when i publish a new video feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care